Hey guys, it's Jamie here. Excuse the music going on. Um, my son's watching Minions. But I am here to tell you about my Breath of the Wild Athon TBR. Because I'm going to participate in that. And that is the 17th to the 23rd. And right now they're just doing challenges. So it's for you to get your basic um, components of the game. Like your stasis, your magnesis, your cryo your bomb and then they have two um <coughs> two optional ones which is the forest of spirits and the temple of time but i will get to that when i get there so the first one and i'm not going to say the shrine names because i will butcher them and i don't want to disrespect anyone so the first one is your camera trial, which is share your readathon TBR, and that's what I'm doing here. I am sharing my readathon TBR, and so when I'm done, I will I will check off my camera. So this is my spread for my Breath of the Wild TV um, Breath of the Wildathon. Um, it's not too fancy like I wanted it to be, but it's okay for now. So that's what this one is. So I'm going to share my TBR with you guys. So the next one is the bomb trial. And it is read an action packed book that is set in a land far away. And for this one I'm going to be reading Ray's story. And I'll put the book up here because I'm going to borrow it from the library from Libby. So this one is by Elizabeth Schieffer. And this is basically telling you... Um, about Ray, when how she grew up, what happened to her family. Um, I don't want to uh, spoil anyone who hasn't who has not seen Force Awakens or any of them. Sorry if the light changed, <laughs> but yeah. So this is just basically Ray's story, how she grew up. Um, her family, her backstory. Like, if you guys don't know her backstory, uh, watch the movies, I would say. I don't want to spoil anyone who, for who wants to watch the movies who hasn't, because they released a big deal about Rey in the last Star Wars movie. Okay, so the next trial is Magnesis. Read a book you're drawn to. So for this one, I'm going to be reading Chills, Fins on the Other Side. So this is basically about this boy who's tired of being in his twin brother's shadow. So he ends up talking to Dr. Felicis. Oh, sorry. This is about, this is by Virginia Strong. This is her pen, um, pen author name. I will put her actual name down here because I think it's... I think it's Jennifer. Oh, actually, I could tell you right now. It's Jennifer Brody who writes these. But I've read the um, part of your nightmare from hers. Really enjoyed it, so I can't wait to pick up this one. Um, this is like Fran uh, Friends. This is like the Disney version of Goosebumps. So if you like Goosebumps, you like Disney, pick up Chills. I can't wait to dive into this one. So this is um, about 12 year old Jamal. He, um, he's always lived in the shadow of his twin brother, Malik. Um, he just wants to be popular, be more talented, more uh, confident than his brother. So Dr. Felicis appears to him and Jamal has the opportunity to uh, jump on the chance to be more popular and everything more than his brother. Um, but then he wakes up the next morning. His dream has come true. He learns it comes true in a terrible cost. Obviously, he's talking to Dr. Felicis. And if you guys seen the movie, Dr. Felicis deals with shadow people. Um, and then it's uh, never make a deal with the shadow man, basically. So he learns his lesson. Of making a deal with the shadow man so that's for magnesis um the next trial is cryo the cryo cryo 
Cryonics Trial Trial Sari, and it's read a book with wintry vibe. Sorry about that. So I'm going to be reading The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon. Um, I've heard Gabby Reads talk about this. I've heard Katie. Um, oh shoot, I forgot her last name. I'll link both of their channels down below. But I've heard both of them talk about this, and it's like a thriller in the winter time. And there's, I, I don't want to jump. In, I want to jump into it not knowing too much about the book so I'm not going to give you a synopsis of the book <laughs> but if you want to know what the book is about I will link Katie and Gabby's channel down below and they talk about it on there so the last trial is stasis trial participate in a reading sprint and you don't have to participate in the breath of the wild a song reading sprint it's just a reading sprint anytime during um the readathon. So I will check that off. Now, obvious, I'm obviously going to be um, doing weekly reading vlogs, and I will do a Breath of the Wild weekly reading vlog, and I will tell you when I participate in a sprint and who sprint I participate in, and I will leave their channel down below, whoever's um, sprint I participate in. Okay, and to get to the optional um, things for you down at the end, which is the um, Forest of Spirits, is read a book with mythical slash supernatural elements. And for this, I'm going to be reading Beast Boy. As everyone knows, he turns into different animals, and he's green. His skin turns green, and he can turn into different animals. Um something happens to him as a baby or as a kid and this I think he's a teenager and he um, gets bit by um, this type of um, animal and it makes him where he could turn into different animals and his skin starts turning green um, I'm super excited about this and can't wait to read it Beast Boy is one of my favorite Titans um, yeah, if you didn't know, he's part of the Teen Titans team. So I'm going to be reading that for this. And the next one is Temple of Time. Read a book pertaining to the passage of time. And I'm going to be reading... Um, also, I'll, I will put up here also. But I'm going to be reading A Wrinkle in Time. I have never read A Wrinkle in Time. I have seen the movie... Um, but never read the book. And that's by Madeline Liangle. I don't know how to say her last name. If you know, let me know down in the comments how to pronounce her last name. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is by Cami Garcia and Gabriel Piccolo. I think that's how you say his last name. Um, anyways, uh, A Wrinkle in Time is what I'm going to be reading for that one. I'm super excited. I can't wait for this readathon to start. I am super, super stoked. But that's what I'm going to be reading for that part of me. So right now, the only other books I have on my May TBR is So This Is Love by Elizabeth Lim. And that, that is... Uh, Disney Twisted Tale, and it's basically what if Cinderella didn't, what if Cinderella, oh sorry, I have the book actually here, what if Cinderella never tried on the glass slipper, I'm um, actually in the middle of this book, and it's really good so far, can't wait to see what happens, so yeah, it's basically what if she didn't try on the slipper. And my current audiobook is The Wicked Fox by Kat Cho, and this is about a kitsune. And, um, yeah, so she falls in, she tries to not fall in love with this human and follow in her mother's footsteps of falling in love with a human, but she ends up falling in love with a human. 
and one thing leads to another. She loses her, sorry, my son's right here. She loses her pearl and her mom tells her it's just a myth that Kitsunese can't lose it, but she ends up losing hers and it's trying to get it. She's trying to get her pearl back in her body because she's abnormally hungry and her body is basically fighting against her and she's slowly dying. So she has 100 days to put her pearl back in her body before she dies. So that is my May TBR. And let me know what you guys are reading in the month of May. Let me know if you're participating in the Breath of the Wild a thon. I will really love to know what you guys are reading if you read the Breath of the Wild a thon because it took me a while to determine what I wanted to read if for I this read a thon. Alright, see you guys in my vlog. Bye!